Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to my quick look and first impressions for the game called I Am Fury. This is an old school style FPS game and it gets its full release later today, 15th of August. It's been in early access for a little bit but today is the full release date. So yesterday I saw LGR's review of this game and I was immediately sold on it. This is brought to you by 3D Realms, the people behind the Duke Nukem 3D game, the original Prey, Max Payne, things like that. It's created on the build engine and it runs and feels like an FPS game from the 90s with some modern conveniences and updates. So after watching his review, I asked the devs for a copy and they sent me one pretty much straight away. I thought I'll install it and have a quick look around at the settings and things like that. But I ended up playing it for an hour uh, without realizing and I enjoyed it. It's glorious so far. If you're an older gamer like me and you played games on Windows 95, old shooters, things like that, this will feel right at home, but also with some modern touches. So the graphics, the movement, the shooting, etc. is old school, but it runs on DirectX 11, it runs on modern hardware, it's got autosave and things like that. It's not a linear shooter, but it's got big open uh, levels and you have to explore them, find the hidden secrets, find key cards to open up secret places, break vents and get inside. Uh, even in the one hour, I found several weapons, uh, shotgun, uh, SMGs, grenades, and there's also this stick that she uses called the, I don't know what it's called. Basically, it electrifies the enemies. Now, in the game, you play as Shelly Bombshell Harrison. And there was another game made by 3D Realms called Bombshell a few years ago. That was a sort of twin stick shooter, top down style game, and it featured the same protagonist. This is a sort of a prequel to that, but it's a completely different game. This is a more traditional uh, FPS game. A bit about the uh, system requirements and the installation, it's, it will run on a toaster. The download is 53 megabytes. It asks you to have 100 MB free space on your disk. Uh, dual core processor is, is all that it needs. Uh, even old graphics card from 10 years ago should work fine. Uh, the requirement is 2 GB RAM and an NVIDIA 8600 GT. So, I think if you have a system from within the last 10 years, you should have no problems running it. Windows 7 is the minimum operating system you need. They have quite a few options here. Uh, things like display settings, sound settings. You can limit the frame rate. You can change the color, uh, add a bit of brightness, things like that. You can play it in widescreen or just the old style. And yeah, it's, it's nice. They have some modern touches here that makes it a bit nicer. Of course, this being a old school pixelated style game, you can run this at the highest settings without any problems. And finally, wanted to mention the pricing of the game since that's kind of what I do. So basically the game currently sells for $569 in India, $24.99 in the US, $19.49 in the UK, $20.99 in the EU region. If you are interested in picking this game up, uh, Fanatical and Green Man Gaming both have some nice discounts on it. So on Fanatical, uh, it's for $19.99 and they are currently running their summer sale. So if you just click here on the Fanatical 10 coupon thing, you'll already be getting a 10% discount. So basically $17.99 for the game. On Green Man Gaming, um, it's already got a 10% discount applied to it. But if you add it to your card and add the code August 12th, which is their promotion for this month, you get a further 12% uh, percent discount. So basically go here, click here, August 12th, and you end up paying 450. So a nice little savings if you are interested. And this, of course, I'm just showing you the Indian uh, pricing, but it's available in all regions. And yeah, um, I'm going to play this some more. This is a lot of fun. I might even consider streaming this a bit because my power situation seems to be a bit better recently. But yeah, uh, glorious uh, old school brings back a lot of memories. I really liked it. If you do wish to buy this from Green Man Gaming or Fanatical, consider using my links below. It helps me out a bit as well. And yeah, I'm really happy to see this game. It came out of nowhere. At least I did not know about it, but I'm really happy I gave this a try looks like a lot of fun uh, thank you for watching and also let me know if you want to see similar videos in the future the thing is I don't really get excited by a lot of new games recently 
So when something like this comes out, I'm really excited to give it a try and give my thoughts on it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. some action.
I really needed that. <laughs> 